Hi there! This is Diecast Channel and in this video I'm going to show you this 1971 Plymouth Satellite Sabrin Plus made in a 1 to 18 scale by Auto World American Muscle. So if you like those Mopars, stay with me to the end of this video and also don't forget to subscribe to give me a thumbs up and to click the bell for news. So let's unbox this current technology. Sabrin made in this inviolate metallic color. The general lines of this car are very nice. This vinyl roof looks fantastic, really. And the trim around the windows, the Sabrin Satellite Sabrin Plus logo made in the decal, the blankers, the auxiliary lights, and the fin stripes, and the handle, and door, and all details are very well made. Wheels and tires look great. We really like those mags. The front blankers with a 383 logo. Interior, as we can see. The white seats and a black dashboard. The hinge, the pedals, gas and brake. Steering wheel, a three spoke steering wheel and the dashboard with a wood grain pattern and the white seats and a black carpet. So they look very nice. White seats that tilt, the windows and the trim. Those seats tilt, they're a little hard, but they do tilt. And the white vinyl and the satellite Sabrin Plus decal on the side. Black dashboard with a satellite and a wood grain pattern, central console, and a pistol grip gear lever. And a headliner, which is not actually a headliner, but a white painting on the acrylic on a transparency. Dashboard, low gauges, steering wheel, seats side panels, the rear seat. Uh, those seats don't have seat belts, but it's okay. And the pistol grip gear lever. Dashboard with a wood, wood grain pattern and a satellite logo. Left compartment lid does not open. The trunk opens and very nice tail lights. And the bumper with a license plate, spare tire, and the hinges, trunk lid with the instructions for a jack, trunk latch, and all the interior and with the mat look very nice. Deck lid with jack instructions, the hinges are well made, Plymouth logo and lock. Very nice looking rear with nice tail lights, license plate, dual exhaust and a bumper with no flashes, no issues at all. And the right tail light, there are five divisions with a reverse in the center looks really great. The lines of this car look very nice. It's a very attractive model and the color as we can see has a very high quality painting. There are no roughnesses, no issues at all. The 83 engine, the air filter, brake master cylinder, Cables and wires, and distributor and its cables are all made in plastic. Radiator holes, front grille that looks very nice. Front panel, the Plymouth logo. Reservoir, front panel, battery with its terminals. The engine bay itself is very well made. The hinges are a little thick, but not that thick. And the hood opening could be a little bit better. Front grille that looks very nice with the black mesh and the very realistic headlights and auxiliary directional lights. This front really looks fantastic. That's a typical front of 1971 Plymouths and this line of Satellite, Roadrunner and GTX. The base of the car looks very nice. It's made in that body color in the outer edges and primer at the center. And it looks really very nice. Uh, the engine colors looks good. Drive shaft, the tranny, front suspension, rear suspension. One curious thing is the engine is orange underneath and blue at the top. Haven't noticed that before. The drive shaft, the tranny that's made in aluminum, the drive shaft is fixed, the rear suspension is fixed, gas tank, mufflers, and the base of the car as a whole. It's a unibody. Very curious issue about this 383 engine is for 1971 it had both colors, either turquoise blue or hemi orange. And 
This engine and this car has both colors. I don't know why. Uh, the Hemi Orange would be the higher performance engine and the blue one would be uh, the standard 383. So I don't know why all the world has messed up the two colors in this car. But it's a very curious fact. Well, analyzing this car from 0 to 10, I would give it a 9.5. I think this car is really great and it just doesn't make a 10 because uh, slight misalignment in its parts. But in general, the car looks great. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views, for all subscriptions. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, to give me a thumbs up, and also to click the bell for news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.